Hello and welcome to Home with Sarah Jane. Today I have a homeschooling video for you. I wanted to share the last like science unit study that I'm going to be doing with my fifth grader for this homeschool year. So if you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to two girls ages 10 and 14. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by once again. I do really appreciate you. So fifth grade science. Let me just say, I cannot believe that we are already on our last science unit for this homeschool year. I feel like this entire homeschool year has been like a blur and it went really fast. But I really wanted to focus on something that was going to be fun and exciting and kind of fresh um, for my daughter Lydia. So Lydia is 10. Like I was saying, she's in the fifth grade. And she was kind of saying that she wanted to learn more about the human body. And I thought, perfect, let's focus on the human body for the rest of the school year. So it is currently March 8th. And we only homeschool until the end of May. So we are going to be focusing on the human body for March, April, and May. And I am going to use a couple of different unit studies to kind of help me like prolong <laughs> this learning um, because I, I like to have some sort of guide to go off of. So I did pick out two different unit studies from The Good and the Beautiful that I'm going to be using to help us learn more about the human body. And then I am going to add in like my own little flair, <laughs> my own little flair here and there um, when it comes to like picture books, little games and activities that we can add into this unit study as well. So let me just share with you the ones that I picked out from the Good and the Beautiful first because these are going to be the ones that I use more like a guide or a spine um, to teach the human body and this is health and the physical body. This again it's from the Good and the Beautiful and this is for um, grades it's right here three through eight. Uh, this is for grades three through eight and this is the updated version. We did do the older version before a few years ago and it went fine. We liked it. I do like the way that this new one looks. It looks like it's still going to be a lot of fun and I do want to mention that just because I'm adding in my own books and activities and resources it doesn't mean that I think that this isn't enough. It is because this one does come with like videos and activities and you know, a lot of ideas. So this is enough. It's just I'm really trying to dive deeper into learning about the human body with Lydia. So I want to kind of take this a little bit slower and just have fun with it. So we'll be using health and the physical body. Now this is if you've never seen any of their units, uh, they do have like flip throughs and things like that online that where you can see what these units are all about. And we've been using the Good and the Beautiful science unit studies for science unit studies for years. So this isn't anything new for us, but this one looks like a lot of fun. And I did pick up the student journal that goes that goes with it. This one is for grades three through six. I do have the seven and eight um, student journal as well that I will probably kind of use with my fifth grader because I do feel that she could handle the lesson extensions in seven and in, in the grade seven and eight. Wow, I'm having a hard time talking today. Sorry. Um, so I do have both of them, but she'll primarily do like the worksheets out of this one, but we'll probably just read from the um, older student journal. Now, after this unit study, we are going to be using, I think it's called Health in the Human Mind. That's going to be the last unit study that we finish up the year with. And I thought that these would go perfect together. So we'll be doing Health and the Physical Body. And then we'll be going straight into, I think it's called Health in the Human Mind. Again, it's another good and the beautiful unit study. We have never done this one though before. So I am really looking forward to this one. And I thought that these would pair really nicely going back to back and just wrapping up our school year. So now let's talk about some of the resources that I wanna add in for a little bit more flair and fun. And um, <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna share with you is something that we tried using at the beginning of the school year. I actually tried this with my fifth and my eighth grader at the beginning of the year and it didn't work out. Um, these books were pretty young, but I do wanna give them one more shot because they do seem really amazing. So I'm gonna be trying to use these, um, 
I have them all out of order. Sorry. I'm going to be trying to use these know yourself books again. I think that if I try and do this with just my youngest daughter, it might be more successful because these books do seem a bit young. Um, and this one, if you don't know these books, these bo books focus on a system of the body or something about the human body and then a country. So this is book one and this is the five senses and then you focus on Greece. And again, I probably, I probably won't use this whole book in its entirety. I'll probably just take sections out of this book and use what I need. Um, so I don't know if I'll finish this complete, like complete the whole thing or not. I doubt it. I will probably just pick and choose what I want out of this book and use that. But I do love the idea of learning about a system of the body and then a country. I think that that seems like a lot of fun. And in this book, you get like, this like comic story or graphic novel graphic novel comic comic story um and then again it goes over like history this one would be greece or your country it has worksheets in here um this also has um where is it <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'm thinking that's my thinking face um this one also like i said it goes over the human body but then it also has what is the word i'm looking for it also has recipes there's also recipes and things like that in these books so these they do look like a lot of fun but again i felt like these were too young for my eighth grader and so they just kind of fell off at the beginning of the year but i do have a few of these so this is book one the five senses and then there is book two, The Skeletal System, and this is going over the country Russia. And then book three is The Circulatory System and China. Four is The Renal System and Assyria. Uh, five is The Digestive System and Japan. And six is The Immune System and England. Again, we're just going to, you know, pick and choose what we use out of here because we have those other unit studies that we're going to be working from. I don't really need all of that information, just the fun stuff. Now, the next few things I wanted to share with you are some of the picture books that I'll be adding in or, you know, books that I'll be using. And I'll be using Marie Curie's Search for Radium. And then I will also be using Pastor, past, I can't say this word, Pastor, pastors fight for microbes. I'm struggling. We will be using the brain, our nervous system. And I do want to mention that these books that, and resources that I'm sharing with you, I had all of these on hand. So I didn't go out and buy anything. Well, technically, I did buy... Um, health and the human mind that unit study that's the only thing that I actually bought brand new um, for this little unit study because I am trying to be more mindful of the things that I have and I have a very large library in my home so this is all stuff that I already had and I didn't want to go and spend a ton of money if I already had enough resources here okay now this one, we actually read this book already this year, but she loved it. So I thought, let's, you know, read this book again. We uh, read this book when we did our book in a game a day in January. And again, she just loved it. So this one is called The Brain is Kind of a Big Deal. This one was super silly, super fun. Like we had a lot of little laughs with this one. Okay, and then... I love the Magic School Bus. I like the old Magic School Bus, though. I've never seen, like, the newer one. But I wanted to throw in a couple of Magic School Bus books just because, you know, I like them. So I have the Magic School Bus Inside the Human Body. And then I also have the Magic School Bus Presents the Human Body. Now, when I was pulling these off my shelf... I was like, did I buy the same book with just a different cover? But no, these are different books. So because that has happened, I have uh, found multiple copies of the same book on my shelves. So <laughs> mistakes were made here and there. 
Now, the last book that I'm going to be focusing on using is Usborne's First Encyclopedia of the Human Body. This is a book that I like to keep down where my kids can just pick it up and use it whenever they want to. So she has read through a lot of this book, but I thought that this would be perfect to just reread it, get a refresher. I mean, it is, I love Usborne books. It is a really nice book. And I like that it's just a simple, easy to read book as well. It's not, you know, anything that just seems so crazy for like a fifth grader. Okay, now for some of the fun stuff, I do have this like human body with squishy organs model thing. Um, yeah, so I have one of these that she'll be, you know, playing with, I guess. <laughs> and then I do have a couple of games, but they're more like trivia games. We have Brain Busters Human Body. Um, this is just like trivia, you know, for human body, but I think that this will be a lot of fun. We love trivia, so that's why we also have Professor Noggins The Human Body Card Game. Now, I know that this is used as a game, but we don't really use it as a game we just use it as trivia um where i'll read i'll read a section um to my kids and then they just have to try and guess the answers we don't really keep score or do anything like that with these but these are a lot of fun and um what i like about these is that they have like an easy section and a hard section so if you have younger kids you can do the easy section if you have older kids you can do the hard section and you know it just works for all ages Okay, so something else that I'm going to be using to kind of keep her little hands busy is this human skeleton little magnetic set. This, it comes in a tin. Let me see if I can show you. But what you do with this is you just take these magnets and you have to label the, you know, the skeleton, um, the parts of the body and stuff. So inside the tin, you have this little model with blank spaces. And then you just take, oh, I dropped it. Hang on. Come back. There we go. <laughs> and then you just take the little, um, there's dog hair. You just take the little label and then you just find the spot and you just label it. So she can go through and label the different bones of the body. And then they even have the bones as well. So, you know, you're getting like the best of both worlds, I guess. <laughs> so this is a lot of fun. And this is something that she can do on her own because it does come with like a little answer key that she can like check her work with herself. So this is just a lot of fun. Now, the next couple of things I wanna show, oh, what'd I do? Oh, the arm was in the way. The next thing I wanted to show you are these super fun puzzles that I have. Now I've had these for just a little while and we haven't really used them yet, but oh, they look fantastic. So this is Dr. Livingston's anatomy jigsaw puzzle. I wish I had all of them, but I do not. I only have three of them, um, but this is the human head. So I thought that this just looked like a lot of fun. So this puzzle is this section here, but what's cool about these puzzles is that you can buy different sections of the body and then complete all the puzzles and put them together to build the human, the whole human body. So I just thought that this looked like a lot of fun. Again, this one is the human head. And then I also have the human abdomen. And again, once you complete these puzzles, you can, you know, put the puzzles together to make the whole human body. I also, and this is the last one that I have, um, have the human thorax. I am really trying not to go out and buy the rest of these puzzles, but oh, I'm trying not to spend a lot of money. Okay, I just got out of a no spend month and it went really well and I don't wanna go back into just buying things like crazy. But these are just so amazing. I don't know. I'm going to try and stay strong, though. But again, these human body uh, anatomy, whatever jigsaw puzzles look like a lot of fun. Now, the last thing that I want to share with you is actually really neat. We haven't really used it yet, or at least she hasn't. I kind of looked into it a little bit. But I have this virtual reality human body kit. And this is by DK. This looks like a lot of fun. I think this is going to be her favorite part of learning about the human body. It just looks amazing. So in this kit, you do get another like human model. Whew, almost dropped it. <laughs> you do get another little human model and these are fun. So maybe me and her could like 
work side by side or something and build them up together. And then it comes with, you know, the bones and organs to build that model. But what's neat about this little kit is that you get these little virtual reality goggles um, to use alongside their virtual reality human body book. So with this, what you do is on your phone, you download an app. And once that app is downloaded, you would put your phone in this little front piece of the goggles to where the screen is facing, you know, the eyes. And then she would put this on and she could go through this book and scan the little symbols throughout the book. And then she'll go into this whole little virtual reality experience where they talk about, you know, that part of the human body and she gets to see it up close and personal. So it just looks like so much fun. But let me show you. Um, so this one is inside of a cell. So you can sit here and read this information. And then when you're done, there's these little symbols for the virtual reality experience to where, like I was saying, you she would just scan that and it would take her into this little virtual reality world of the human body. So this just looks like so much fun. I was kind of messing with it the other day and I think I'm really going to like this for her. And again, th these little symbols are all throughout the book. So you would just, you know, read what you want and then scan the little sections throughout the book. So I'm really excited for her to use this one because this is definitely right up Lydia's alley. This is something that she would love to do to scan it, watch the little video with the information about it. So I'm really looking forward to that. Now I will be adding in certain documentaries and certain like videos and things like that to um, just really expand on learning about the human body. But I wanted to base those videos off of what she was really interested in so that we can dive deeper in those things that she enjoys. So I haven't quite picked out the videos yet, but I do know that I'll be using some videos from YouTube and, you know, documentaries and things like that to go along with this unit study. So I I'm hoping, I'm pretty sure we can, I'm pretty sure that we'll be able to finish this by the end of the year. Again, I'm just going to go as fast or as slow as she really wants to go and just kind of let her guide me through this unit study. So that is everything that I wanted to share with you today. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. Thank you so much for stopping by. You have a great day. Bye.